Welcome back. I know we've been talking a lot about shopping and you know, counterfeit goods are always a problem year round, but especially during the holidays. So how can you make sure that what you are buying is really genuine and not fake? Well, joining us with more is Deputy Executive Assistant Commissioner, U.S. Co- Customs and Border Protection, John Leonard. It's a huge problem. You know, it's, it's uh, worldwide. It's a, it's a multi-trillion dollar issue. Uh, In the United States, it it presents a a lot of problems, Uh, firstly, for the the rights holders who invest a lot of money in making these legitimate, safe products. Um, It it also is a a major health and safety issue for a lot of the products that are that are counterfeited, in particular, uh, electronic goods and and pharmaceuticals as well. But it's a it's a problem across a range of 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 goods, many of which are sold during the holidays. E-commerce was was well on the rise even before the pandemic struck in, in March of 20. But uh, online sales really skyrocketed, you know, after the pandemic set in and, and really up until now. And so Customs and Border Protection, one of our most important missions is keeping unsafe goods out of the country. And these, uh, these counterfeit goods are, are top on our list. A lot of them come in via the e-commerce stream of small packages uh, coming in through all modes. A lot of it comes in air freight. Uh, but some some in sea freight and also across the borders of, of Canada and Mexico. So our officers are there 24-7, uh, 365 days a year, making sure that these unsafe and counterfeit goods don't get in. But it's really important that we need the public's help on this as, w- as well to, to, one, tell us about what, what they're seeing, and two, just being aware of, of how to avoid purchasing these goods themselves. We work with the private sector uh, on, a, on a regular recurring basis to get information about what, what fakes are now on the market, what methods they're using to, to make them and, and conceal them when they import them. We recently um, did a memorandum of understanding with the U.S. Chamber of Commerce who represent thousands of companies, big and small. And now we're, we're sharing information uh, the companies are doing training for our Customs and Border Protection officers uh, and specialists. And we're really just getting a lot more information uh, collectively to help um, keep the American public safe. We have a number of ways that we, we do this. Um, we have a, a, an online uh, allegation portal whereby folks can actually uh, write in when they're, when they're seeing counterfeit goods or they, they know of, of these uh, criminal enterprises happening. Uh, on the private sector side, they will send their their folks uh, to our ports of entry to give training classes to our officers on how to spot the fakes and how to know which which items are counterfeit. And again, as I mentioned a, a couple of minutes ago, it's a range of goods. It's it's luxury goods, watches, you know, shoes, handbags, uh, a lot of the branded items that you're very familiar with, but also consumer electronics. Uh, even food items um, and pharmaceuticals as well. So it's just about anything you can buy online, especially that which uh, has a branded name can be counterfeited. So a lot of it is just is just common sense. If you're seeing a product uh, that's a branded name that has a, a inordinately low price, very likely it's a counterfeit item. Um, you know, if it looks if it looks too good, the price is too low. It, it's probably a fake. Um, So just basic common sense, you know, shopping at um, well-reputed websites, the the actual company's websites themselves uh, is is good. We're doing, we have a really good fact sheet with the U.S. Chamber called Shop Safe and and would uh, able to get that information to your viewers on how they see it. It's 10 really common sense tips on on how to avoid counterfeit. So I think if people take that, those extra steps before they click, uh, you know, the buy uh, button, on the website, uh, the folks getting their their gifts are going to be a lot happier and, frankly, a lot safer. We've got information on cbp.gov uh, in our trade section uh, on, under uh, intellectual property rights. Also, the U.S. Chamber has got a great site as well. Uh, so I'd, I'd advise folks to, to get uh, both of those websites and we'll, we'll get those links to your viewers. 